Welcome back to my channel. I can't wait to show you what I found when I was out thrifting, antiquing actually, with my husband. So let's get started. So my husband and I headed to an antique store that I do not get to go to that often. And I saw so many pieces that I absolutely love and need in my house, but I'm keeping my eyes on them and I will be back to this antique store. My husband really loved this clock, and I did too. I mean, those lion heads on the side, and it's so vintage. We may go back and get it, it was $48. It didn't work, but that's still a good price. This frame is gorgeous. It was 175. I I actually love this entire booth. I mean, look at that desk or vanity. Oh my word. I can't remember how much it was, but I need it in my home. <laughs>
lovely statue that I found and let me know if you think I should paint her. Now this beautiful ivy did not come with her, but it was like a half dead rose that had seen better days anyways. <laughs> so I put this ivy in here. Obviously we need a better arrangement. I just didn't have time. And doesn't she look so French? I'm not sure that I love her color. She's gold, obviously, but I may make her white with the gold leaf or my sister has a way that she does it and she antiques them. They look really vintage. I love making things look like they're vintage, even if they're a little bit newer. So I may try that on her look at all the detail here. So the next item that I have is this vintage lady who is slightly indecent. <laughs> she was just a few dollars and she was painted by Virginia in 1973. That's what it says. Look at Virginia. She is a great painter. If she did paint this, I mean, look at those eyes. If I did this, they would be little circles that would be crooked. <laughs> Anyways. I'm cracking myself up over here. Isn't she so pretty? So I put her in my bedroom on one of my shelves. And I mean, you could use her and hang your necklaces off of her or something, but I just love adding in little pieces in my room. Isn't this just lovely? thrifted this vintage frame. I really love it's metal. And if you can tell here without catching the light, it has some rust on it. It's very, very old. Somebody put a little hole there. So I'm going to place this in my bathroom. I love the picture of the lady with the a mother with the little baby here. It just brings back so many memories. And maybe this was a painting back in the day. I mean, several, obviously several, several years ago. So this is silver. I don't have a lot of silver in my bathroom. What I may do is take the rub and buff, the antique gold, and just go around here with it. And I don't want to cover up any of the rest. I love this character that the frame has and how it looks so vintage. So I may just add in a little bit. I haven't done it yet. And then I'm going to hang this in my bathroom, the ones that has the rabbits. And it just is such a lovely find.
is one of my favorite finds here. I absolutely love the frame, the black and the gold, and then the watercolor. Look how serene that is. It's a boy with his dog and the sheep. And then this is old, you can tell. It's a, like, it just has a wall accessory on it. I only gave $10 for this, and you guys know that that is a still. And so this is going in my son's bedroom. My son, Kanan, I redid his room, and I took down his bed that he had had previously, and I found an iron bed on Marketplace, maculant condition. It was white, so I painted it black, and then I found another piece of furniture on Marketplace. I did all this previously to having a YouTube channel. So listen, I have been repainting and redoing things way before I started this YouTube channel. So I didn't get to film that, but I may pop in a picture of Kanan's bed so you can see. I absolutely love his twin bed. It is so stately, should I say, or handsome, probably stately. And this will go in perfectly in his room. So I'm really trying to buy some pieces for my kids' bedrooms as well when I'm out because my main focus has been on the downstairs and, you know, finding certain items for that room. And then I come upstairs to my kids' rooms and I'm like, oh, I need some more pictures on the wall or... So I may switch my focus just a little. So the next items I'm going to show you, I am so excited and I can't believe I found these. So my husband and I are in the process of redoing our master bathroom. Oh wait. We're not in the process. He says I have to wait till fall. I'm in the process of gathering all of my items for the master bathroom. And look what I found. I absolutely cannot believe I found these for $10 each. That is a still. So these are going to go into my master bath. Just picture gold mirror. And these on each side, they do need rewired, not rewired. They just need um, wiring run to them. And he said that he can do it. My husband is super talented. This bathroom that we will be redoing is going to be a complete gut. We are going to the studs and knocking out a wall. That is a closet. We need that extra 10 square feet and adding in all kinds of vintage pieces I cannot wait. If he would do it right now, I would completely help him <laughs> with my skills, but he will not do it until the fall. So being the good wife that I am, I am gathering all of my belongings, all of my French inspired <laughs> decor to go into that space. So these I have, and then I already have my countertop. I found a marble, it must have came out of like a very French inspired home because I've never seen a countertop like this. So it is marble and then it is almost like a salmon color with gray veining and the sink. I will show you guys. The sink is white with streaks of gold. I have never seen a sink. To like use that, I'm on the hunt for a vanity right now that, you know, is ornate and will fit this countertop. It's been challenging. Finding tile has been challenging as well because I have the countertop and now I kind of have to match it to the tile. But I will find, I will find it and I have time since this is a fall project. And then, hold on, the finials. I believe that's what they're called. Usually you never find these. They're thrown. And this, did I mention that I was walking with my husband and I forgot to film this part, sorry guys. They were tossed against the floor with something in front of them. And I was so disappointed because we had went looking for a vanity or a piece of furniture that we could use and we just didn't find anything. And don't you know, I found my lights. I ended up spending like $23. Yeah, that's crazy. Hold on. I also found 
a cover for one of our outlets. I always try to pick these up because, you know, I can use these all over my house. I switch them out and it just gives that little extra bit of detail and character to your home instead of those white plastic ones. So you can thrift these. And then what I do is I just use a regular screw and I will take my finger, do a little rub and buff and voila, the screw is gold. And you will never notice that it was a silver screw. So there's a tip for y'all if you all don't do that. So guys, I am so excited to um, do this master bathroom and find the little finds. I will make sure that I show you guys as I do. I mean, I found my clawfoot tub. I already have that. Yeah, I got that off of an auction, brand new. I cannot wait. So you guys get to come along on this journey with me. I do have a while to go. I will try to be patient. That is kind of hard sometimes, but as I find my items, I'm going to show you that. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my channel. I do really appreciate it. I always love reading your comments. So make sure you comment down below and let me know what you loved seeing today. And also guys, I'm really trying hard to make it to a thousand. I'm over halfway there and I, just need just a few more followers and then I will be there. So make sure that you subscribe, you like and ring the bell. That always helps me out and you get notifications when I upload a video. So make sure that you do those things. Thanks for watching. I upload a video. So make sure that you do those things. Thanks for watching. Take care guys and I'll see you in the next video.